Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I am in Puerto Rico, as you guys probably should know by now if you've watched my previous few videos. I'm sorry for the outside noise that you will absolutely hear throughout this video, but there's no such thing as closing the windows here. Um, it is hot. Uh, we are without power for day 10. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that over the weekend, we took a little hiatus from life over here on the West Coast and the power outage that we are experiencing due to Hurricane Fiona and went over to the metropolitan area all the way across the island and stayed in Fajalo with some family friends, family, they're friends, but they're more like family. Um, and we went shopping. We went to San Juan and I did some major shopping, which I can't even tell you the last time I went shopping for myself. It was like way before I even started the process of moving, I feel like, um, because life was just too busy. <laughs> and also we were moving, so I was like, I can't shop. I don't have like space for any of this stuff. So I packed super minimally when we first got here or, you know, for my, for my luggage to get me here and I don't have a lot of things. I'm 27 weeks pregnant today. Let me show you guys my belly real quick. So most of the things I did pack are quickly not fitting me. Um, so I picked up some things and I wanted to show you guys. Um, I did some shopping for myself and for Archie. So I'll show you guys Archie's stuff first and then I'll jump into my stuff. I love 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 for this to be a try on haul but realistically speaking i think i'm way too pregnant it's way too hot and i'm way too tired but i'm not making any promises that there will be a try on haul at all but if i can insert a few clips of me wearing a few of these pieces i will <laughs> so if you're interested in my haul keep watching Okay, I pray that the background noise isn't too loud and too distracting. But like I said, first thing I want to show you guys is what I picked up for Archie. So, Homeboy um, is quickly growing out of most of his shoes. I got him this super cute pair of like kind of a dressy sneaker, almost like a boot style. Um, it doesn't get cold in Puerto Rico, but it is the holiday season um, rolling up soon So I'd love I'd love to have like a more dressier shoe for him Really love this pair. It has a zipper on the side. So hopefully that makes it easy to throw on and off I think it will the shoelaces are actually like elastic -y, and it has a super cool quilted detail on the back they're military green and brown i think they're really nice my absolute favorite shoe of all time are converse's he owned a pair when he was about like one years old and i just forgot to repurchase them um as he grew out of them but i picked him up a fresh pair of white converse's these shoes are seriously my favorite if you have a baby that has like kind of more chubby feet and it's not that easy to get them into their shoes. I can't recommend Converse's enough because like you can really open these up all the way. Uh, you could like unlace that first little eyelet there and it makes it so easy to put these on and off any type of baby foot. So I picked up two shoes for Archie. Next up, I'll show you what I got him from Zara because I only picked up one thing from Zara. I got him this Mickey Mouse pullover sweater it says mickey mouse on the sleeve with a little m logo on it i love zara's clothes for kids um so i picked him up this again it doesn't get cold here but um if we go out in the evenings it might get a little a little chillier in the evenings or if we're going to like a restaurant or somewhere like that where the ac is really high i could put that on with like a pretty or like a cool pair of shorts i got this from Old Navy. Everything else I think is from Old Navy. This little shirt says, I pretend I'm a ghost. <laughs> uh, which I thought was funny because he's like in the hide and seek phase right now where he likes to pretend like he's hiding but he's really just in plain sight. Um, and really I picked it up because it was a nice plain white shirt with like a little graphic, like a black graphic on it, on it. Which I think I could dress with a bunch of things. 
I got him this shirt, which I am like a fan of these little like beachy looking button up shirts. They look like little guayaberas and I think it fits in perfect for the Puerto Rico aesthetic and it was on sale for $2.97. It's a little bit um, too big on him. It's a 4T and he's in 3T, but homie can grow into it or we could just like put it on like an oversized outer layer with like a tank top or something underneath. And then he desperately needed pajamas. So I picked him up three sets of pajamas. He actually wore one of them last night. Um, they are long pants, which I would have preferred shorts, like short sleeve, short pants, because again, it's really hot, but it does, it's probably best for like covering him up for mosquitoes. But isn't this one so cute with the fitness fruits and vegetables on it? I thought that was adorable. And then I just picked up this like plain gray one. The one he wore last night is actually super cute. It's like very tropical and colorful. And then last for Archie, I got him this. Uh, bathing suit shirt it says playero on the front which means like beach beach boy beach goer playero um i think the brand is actually playero yeah it's from the bl the brand playero i love this bright neon fire orange reddish color and homie's getting real dark and i'm just nervous about um protecting his skin from the sun i really want him to stay as protected as he can we are hoping to be able to get to the beach um often we've gone like maybe four times since we've been here and he loves it so much so i just want to make sure i'm protecting his skin um and that's everything for archie i also picked up something for baby beltran this kind of gender neutral pajama set archie owned this pajama he was a little bigger i think he was like around like nine to twelve months when i bought him this one so i got this a little smaller i did it in a zero to three month size for our new baby i just love the little elephants i think they're so cute but that's everything for the babies for archie and the baby all right next up is my stuff so i am going to show you guys what i got from arrow because that's the bag i have here now so i picked up this flannel from the men's section at arrow i just love the colors on it i went with a size medium it smells good <laughs> I went with the, oh great I got lipstick on it cute Diane anyway I went with the size medium so it could be a little bit oversized I honestly could have went with like a large to give it like that super oversized look but it is kind of a little bit of a warmer fleecy type of material so I will definitely be wearing this with like a bralette or a crop top um, and some biker shorts and then just maybe wear it over the shoulder subtly or something like that um, again it'll work for like restaurants or when I go to stores because they always have the AC really high. But I'm not really getting to um, bask in that joy of what it is to have a fall wardrobe this year. Living in tropical weather, it's just hot all the time. But I'm trying, I'm trying. I also picked up this super basic crop top. I like the spaghetti straps on it. Um, this will be cute with like a high-waisted skirt or biker shorts or something like that um, Or if I'm at home, I don't care. I'll just let my whole belly hang out <laughs> But that's what I got this one from it was on sale 50% off So it was very inexpensive and then these are my favorite things that I picked up. This is actually um, Men's cargo pant. So I the cargo um, trend right now is real and I thought I was totally gonna miss it because I'm pregnant and there's just like no way my I'm fitting into some regular um, sized women's clothing pants. But men's clothes is honestly where it's at <laughs> because these pants are a size medium which fit my husband and they fit me. And they're so cool and cute and give up such a fun vibe. They were buy one get one free. So that was awesome. I mean, one of them is $70, so you still end up paying like 35 bucks a pair. But here's the one I'm wearing now. They are so comfortable. I just think they're so cool. I'm wearing them underneath the belly and you can tie them and they just have like the cool like utility look to them. They're super loose, but don't fall off. They look good on the back side. I'll show you how they look on the bottom here.
these pants were honestly my favorite find i feel like because i'm literally wearing nothing but biker shorts or dresses and you just kind of get tired of doing the same thing over and over again so i feel like this is a fun way to add like some cool girl element to my pregnancy wardrobe they're not very thick so i can wear them even in this heat and feel really cool and like i don't know cute okay now old navy so i had my eye on this little ribbed I don't know if you can see the fact that it's ripped, but this little ribbed pink dress since I lived in Jersey. My best friend Mariah had it for her gender reveal, I think. Anyway, she had it and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I love the color, I love the fit. Perfect for like a pregnancy. Um, and I wanted it, but she got hers on sale when I went, it was like $40. And for like a bodycon simple mid like simple ribbed dress like this i didn't want to pay 40 dollars for it especially because i know she got hers on sale so i never got it but i was able to find it on sale for 4.97 um i got it in a size small which i wish they had a medium but they didn't my regular size is a small so it's fine because it'll fit me after pregnancy which is great um but I hope it's not too tight. I mean, it's stretchy. It, it's it's kind of thick and it's stretchy, so I'm hoping it'll work out fine. Then I also picked up these sweats from Old Navy. Love me some tan, cream, nude, neutral colors. That's my whole vibe and aesthetic. They're not very thick at all. They're very high-waisted. I'll probably wear them underneath my belly right now i like the inside material i feel like this is like a perfect like airport material it's not it's like a towel kind of material i don't know how to describe it but um they're cinched at the bottom have pockets this is like my cool girl airport outfit i feel like with like um i don't know something cute layered on top um i think that's it for old navy yeah next up is zara I picked up only one thing from Zara and it's this fuchsia colored corduroy button up. Now I love this button up. It is such a vibe. I got it in a large so it could fit oversized. It's really like not oversized at all. So if you want it oversized, I would definitely size up because it fits just like pretty, I don't know, like fitted if you will. Like this is a large and it's still real fitted i feel like it's not as oversized as i would have imagined a large to fit on me but again i would like roll up the sleeves do something cute like that wear it like off the shoulder super cute i think it's such a fun pop of color i don't own anything this bright in my wardrobe i love that it's corduroy the material on it is just so fun and different for anything i own so yeah, I was super happy with this find. Um, and I love it. I think it's gonna be super cute on, again, crop top, biker short, and kind of off the shoulder, cool girl vibe. I could dress it up with like a fun little heel or something like that. I'm going out to dinner. All right, next up is Aerie. I found quite a few cute things at Aerie. I don't typically shop on Aerie, but I was really happy that I went in there because I think this is like where I got the most stuff. I got this, again, basic tank. I love that the strap on this tank top is thinner. I mean, I guess this one's kind of thin too. This one is Old Navy, I believe, but it has like the seam down the middle of the back. I think that's really cute. I hope this will fit over my belly. I'm not entirely sure, but worst case scenario, something high-waisted should cover the rest of it and then if not i'll just rock it like the santa claus and have my belly hanging out the bottom <sighs> yeah i'm at that stage right now where it's just too hot to even care i also got this little top from airy i love this thing it's so cute i can't wait to wear some of these things postpartum i always shop with the like idea that i'm gonna wear this again when i'm not pregnant and just wear it differently obviously um i actually have one of my favorite 
no, it's not a maternity skirt, but it's a skirt I've been wearing throughout my pregnancy. It's blue and it has these like pinkish purple flowers. I'm hoping it'll match nicely with this top because that's what the, like, the idea is. I love this kind of like swoop neckline, spaghetti strap, cinched on the sides with the bows with that skirt over like top of my belly and this kind of just sitting cropped. I think it's gonna look cute. If I try that outfit on, I'll definitely show it to you guys in a clip if it ended up looking cute. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I also picked up this dress from Aerie. They have it in so many colors. I actually went with black because I feel like it's a little more versatile in the black color. Um, I feel like I can dress this up or down. I could dress it down by wearing it with some sneakers, like white sneakers and a baseball cap or something, or I can dress it up with some heels, some chunky jewelry. All it is, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it's a ribbed dress, but the ribbing on it has a little bit of a pattern as you can kind of see there. And it's long, it's definitely, I would say past a midi, but it has a slit on the side right here and it has this little cinched detail on the side that ties up with the bow so again i really think even though it's like a jersey material dress you can really dress this up or dress it down so i forgot to mention but i was me and angel are going me angel and archie are going to texas next week which is wild that that happened so fast like we've just been so busy and so much craziness has been going on that I completely spaced the fact that we're going to Texas next month. It's my niece and my nephew's birthday party, so we're gonna be in Texas for that. And then literally right after we leave Texas, we're going on, God willing, we're going on our anniversary trip. So we are celebrating 10 years of being married, which is wild. Our anniversary is October 11th. We will be married for 10 years then. And we want it to go away somewhere and do like a fun family vacation. It'll be our anniversary slash baby moon slash last vacation as a family of three. Um, and we haven't decided exactly where we're going, but we're going to be in Puerto Rico for it. We just figured we would go like somewhere nice, like stay at a fancy hotel in the metropolitan area or go to a resort. Um, or check out one of the little neighboring islands like Culebra or Vieques. I've always wanted to go to Vieques and I've never had the opportunity to do that. So um, here's the praying because <laughs> this is all very last minute. It's just been super hard to book with having no power, having no internet. Um, so anywho, some of the things that I picked up that are a little bit more dressy, I have my vacations in mind for those outfits. Even this like little fuchsia. Oops. this little fuchsia thing on top of this like I think it would look so cute that dress that I just showed you guys so anywho um, I was shopping with both of those vacations in mind my little baby moon vacation as well as um, my uh, trip to Texas so just to preface <laughs> the end of my uh, haul here and then lastly from Aerie I got this little bralette I got it in a large I hope no I got it in a medium Dang. I hope it fits me comfortable because like I just don't have the time for things to not be super comfortable on me I'm usually a medium in bras but when I'm pregnant when I'm nursing I just not that this is nursing friendly so I guess I shouldn't really worry about that anywho whatever I got it in this like neutral color I love that the um, what is this called <laughs> sleeve no this isn't a sleeve straps yeah the str the shoulder straps have lace on them too so it could like maybe peek out of a shirt the back has lace the front has lace it's just a really cute kind of sexy little bralette i got this because i picked up this top from mango i never shopped in mango before it's really cute some of the items are reasonably reasonably priced and then others are a little expensive for what it is but anywho i got this shirt it's a linen shirt in this kind of like pistachio green color and it's super see-through um i love i love that it has the seam down the middle on the back it's a v-neck it's oversized it's loose it's flowy just a whole vibe so i could wear this with a bunch of different things including 
maybe some maternity jeans that I have, but I would love to pair it with this little bralette since you can definitely see straight through the shirt. You might as well be looking at something kind of sexy and cute. So I got that and then the last item I picked up and this is the end of the haul, <laughs> is this dress from Mango. I specifically got this with our anniversary in mind because it's just like cute and sexy. They did not have a medium, so I ended up sizing up to a large. Um, so hopefully I can enjoy this after pregnancy. I think I will because it's like, it looks super small even in a large, but it's this simple, creamy kind of ribbed. It's a really thick, nice material. It's cut straight across on the bottom here, but the showstopper is really the back. So the back is super open. It has this kind of like cross detail and it's like open and it has a low back to it. So when I'm not pregnant, this will probably look even more sexy on the back because this will kind of hang a little bit. But because I have a nice large belly in the front, it fits super fitted, very cute, very sexy. Definitely gives me like tropical vacation vibes pair this with some beautiful gold jewelry a pretty like brown chunky heel and it's like the perfect dinner outfit so all right that's everything you guys that concludes this haul i hope you guys enjoyed watching this it was so fun for me to shop and it was actually super fun to like review everything that i shop for with you guys here so if i get a chance to include clips here and there of me wearing some of these pieces i definitely will but in terms of doing a try on it is very late in the day right now i have to wake up archie from his nap i'm giving you all the excuses but really i'm just tired and it is too hot girl let me just tell you again if i can include some clips here and there of me wearing these i will absolutely share those with you guys in this video but Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting this channel and just being excited for me on this journey of living in PR, having another baby, doing all the things. I really appreciate all the love, all the support that I'm constantly getting both on YouTube and on Instagram. It's so fun to like record and share my life with you guys. It's like a super fun hobby that's truly, truly been keeping me sane over some of these more difficult times that I've been uh, experiencing lately. But anywho, please like and subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you on the next one.